What is up you guys and welcome back to another video <sighs> These lights are so bright there we go hopefully I haven't done a video in here for a long time And I haven't done a video like this for a long time ladies and gentlemen Welcome back to another episode of top five fits. However, however, this is actually not top five fits this is top 10 fits. So the way we're gonna, the, blah, 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 blah. the way I'm gonna do it now is I'm gonna do it once a month. There's gonna be top 10 fits November, top 10 fits December, top 10 fits January, bada 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 bing. So hopefully it should be a bit better. I fucking spilled my sweatshirt. Hopefully it should be a bit better. And yeah, so two days ago, I put up a, an Instagram story on my Instagram, quite obviously. Within two hours, I think, I'd had like 250 emails with like fits. So I had to shut it down because there's just too many. But, but, but I have managed to squeeze it down into 10 of my favorite fits. If you're new here, we look at a fit. I tell you why I like it, why I might not like it, things I personally would change, and the brands. So that was very loud. So yeah, that's it. Let's just, let's just go. Let's get into these top 10. Fits. Fits. Top 10 fits. Coming in at our 10th, 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 10th spot, we've got Christoph or 6HRISTOPH. Christoph. Christoph. Now, Christoph is wearing a Hugo Boss coat. He's wearing a Vetmon or Vetamins or Vitamins or. Better memes. As always, I have no fucking clue how to speak French. So we're gonna go for a Vetmon. A Vetmon hoodie, a plain oversized white t-shirt. It's probably H&M, he just doesn't want to say it. And Vetmon sweatpants and some Sandro leather sneakers. The coat is fucking sick. I love the fact that it's like a big oversized coat and I really want a similar one. And I think the hoodie is really, really nice. The colors go really well together, especially the black, the red and the t-shirt white t-shirt. However, when it comes to those sweatpants, it's a big no-no for me. For me, when you have a, a, a hoodie and a coat that oversized, you want to have your trousers to be either straight or a bit more loose. I feel like having cuff sweatpants doesn't really work that well. They're a bit too skinny. Also having no-show socks with like really small sneakers. If Christoph had worn some even baggier sweatpants or some baggy gray trousers and some socks, then I would place them a lot higher. But because of those sweatpants, I just can't really... I couldn't see myself wearing it, but, you know, I'm sure he's very happy with it. I just feel like the grey sweatpants really, really knock it down a whole lot. Coming at... Coming in at our ninth spot, we've got PF underscore Quangs, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, PF or Quangs is wearing a Ralph Simmons jumper, a unique cloud t-shirt, a pair of trousers from ASOS, and some All Saints derbies. Now, arguably, well, not arguably. Well, obviously, this whole fit is about the Ralph Simmons sweatshirt, which is fair enough. I'm not sure what I think on that sweatshirt in particular, or that jumper. It works fine, this fit. My problem with this fit, well, not really a problem, but I feel like the shades should just be all black instead of having like a tortoise color. For me, the color kind of throws to fit off in a way because there's nothing else to really like support it. In addition to that, I do feel like the trousers are a bit too cropped. Would like to see them a bit longer, maybe a bit wider because this jumper is really wide. So that might give it a bit of a more like seamless structure going down instead of having like a really boxy jumper and then skinny, slim trousers. Apart from that, I think the derbies are really nice and it's just a very very simple clean fit you guys know me i fucking love rings accessories so adding some extra rings or maybe a necklace something like that might work to add some extra detail it will also make the jumper sleeve not look as wide your hand to kind of get some rings boys and two chains and then you're good good to go in my opinion and coming in at the eighth spot we've got Benjamin Meyer. Now, Benjamin, if you are watching this video, you didn't include your Instagram handle, so no shout out. No free shout out. Big, big fat L. 
Very big fat L. Now Benjamin is wearing a weekday jumper. He's wearing a bag from Reigns. Big chain is from weekday. Trousers are from Dickies. And he's got a pair of hype beast fucking Raph Simmons on. That's what he said. I didn't say that. Now, to be honest, I just feel like this is a very, very nice fit. I do like the industrial chain a lot. It adds a bit more like texture to it and looks really, really good, actually. I wouldn't personally change a lot. The reason why it's not ranked any higher is because it's not really my style, but I still think it looks really good. I think the, what do you call them? Those little tweezers, blah, blah, blah. I think they're a bit lame if you put them there yourself, but you know, anything for the gram, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the bag is nice, the chain is nice. This is one of the only fits where I've seen these Oswegos grow really well. So, good job. I applaud you. I do think the white socks go well with the jumper, and I do like the fact that the dickies are like raw hemmed, so they're cut off. Overall, pretty simple, but still pretty like complicated, which is very, very nice. Coming in at our seven spot, we've got Frederick Photos. I'm all over blue these days, so if you want to get into top five fits or top ten fits, top, 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 top five fits or top ten fits, just gotta wear blue or beige pants and you're in. That's it. That's all you need to do. You're in. Now, Frederick is wearing a hoodie from Haider Ackerman, some vintage pants, uh, Oswego, so Ralph Simmons, and he is wearing a Sears still bag. Now, the reason why I like this outfit so much is because it's different shades of blue. It just looks really good. I used to have those Oswegos until I sold them. I think they go really well with the trousers. The trousers look like they are some corduroy trousers, which, you know, I'm a sucker for corduroy. And there's a nice little contrast pop with the lighter blue color bag with the white writing. Now I do feel like a lot of fits go really well, go really wrong if you use too many different shades of blue. But I do feel like in this case it all works really well. And that hoodie is actually surprisingly nice. But it's Hala Ackerman, so it is definitely out of my budget. Coming in at our sixth spot, we've got T Nichols. And I feel like I should be playing black and yellow while watching or looking at this fit. But I'm not going to do that because then I would lose all my ad revenue. So, just going to leave it like this. So, T. Nichols is wearing a vintage Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. A pair of... pair of... He's wearing the Nike and Off-White Off-Campus tote bag. A pair of Dickies work pants and some Vans. Now, I just think this is a really, really simple and clean fit. I think the reason why I've ranked it so much higher than the other ones is because of the shot in itself and location. Because you can have a really good outfit and you can shoot it in a bad location. Or you can have a good outfit and shoot it in a good location and it looks 10 times better. In this whole sense, I think the vibe is really good. The whole yellow and black vibe. It's got a really relaxed fit on a sweatshirt and it's more like a pale yellow. It matches with the laces. I think something Rocky did with the yellow laces. I don't know. I think it looks cool. So yeah, the fit on the sweater is good. The white matches the socks and the t-shirt and the tote bag. And good location. All good. And he looks like a very, very nice guy. Very friendly. Almost as friendly as me, but not quite. And moving one up to our fifth spot, we've got Dex.A. Now, this is a good example of what I said about having a good fit in a bad location. I feel like this is a pretty bad location for a fit like this. I feel like if you had this fit in a better location, it would look 10 times better. Apart from that, it does still look really nice. However, Dex is wearing a Unico jumper. He's wearing a pair of H&M cargos, which he modified himself. The same tote bag, so the Nike Off-White off campus, again modified himself, and some Nike off-white Prestos. Now the reason why I've ranked this fit so high is because he's modified his own stuff, the tote bag looks fucking sick now, and it's just gone a lot of thought into the outfit. So yeah, overall, really, really good. Only thing I'd say would be to maybe loosen up a bit on the sweatshirt. In my opinion, it looks a bit too tight. So loosen a bit up on that, and find a better location. And then it's a fucking banger, because those cargo pants and that tote bag, <sighs> Hello, Fuego. 
And at our fourth space, we've got Boy Shang. Now, Boy Shang is wearing some kind of bucket hat, which I can't really see. He's wearing an H&M studio coat, a champion jumper, a polo sport, sport bag, some thrifty trousers, and some Ralph Simmons. I think this outfit is super, super cool, apart from the shoes. Now, I think the outfit itself is really good because you've got the olive, the brown, and the beige, which are all like muted colors. They're all almost like the same color, but different shades of it, if that makes sense. That was a big fat lie, but it sounded really good. Base trousers, that's it. Told you guys, wear base trousers and you go straight to the top. My top five fits. But now, I think this outfit is really, really clean. It's like a city explorer, expedition, urban, whatever. It's really, really cool. My only pet hate is the shoes. Now I do get the whole thing with the really contrasting shoes and they stand out really well. But I feel like a pair of maybe Magella replicas or some other shoes which go with the same color pattern would work a lot better. That being said, it's a really, really clean fit. And I do like it. Now at third spot, we've got Ross X Palmer. Ross is wearing a Ralph Simmons and Fred Perry polo, wearing a pair of vintage trousers and some Oswegos. I think this fit is super, super clean. It's very, very simple, but it's all like in the small details. I think the fact that the polo is slightly oversized and it's a bit of a thicker, thick, thicker, thicker material is really good. I think the accessories look really nice with the watch and the chains and the rings. I feel like the black patch matches well with the trousers and obviously the polo goes hand in hand with the cream as we go. So overall, really good. Only thing is that it's not really a an autumn or fall fit. So it's more like spring or summer, but I do think it works really well. Very, very simple and very, very clean. Please don't touch my Ralph, Ralph Simmons, Rick Owens, usually what I'm dressed in. I actually think everyone's been wearing Ralph Simmons. One, two, three, four, five pairs of Ralph Simmons. Killing the game. And at our second spot, we've got Nicholas.1. Now, Nicholas is wearing a Prada shirt, a pair of acne trousers, and some Prada shoes. Now, originally, I wasn't going to put this as high as I did, but looking more at it, I think it's like the perfect fit in a way, as in the trousers sit perfectly, the shoes look super clean and super, they, they suit the whole thing. The shirt is really nice and it's just nicely accessorized. So yeah, it's just a very simple fit with a statement piece, but it's not really been overdressed or underdressed. In my opinion, it just all goes really, really well, hand in hand. Fucking expensive, but it goes hand in hand and it looks really, really nice. Now get me a fucking Prada shirt, please. And coming up at our numerous Uno, number one spot, we've got Carl. Now, Carl is someone who's sending outfits a lot and they're always super, super clean. He's got a very, very cool style and it's very minimalistic, but at the same time, it never gets boring, I feel like. But Carl is wearing a Gucci turtleneck with a Jill Santa jacket. He's got a pair of thrifted trousers and some Magellas. Now, in my opinion, the Magellas is like the core piece, but they're really, really, they're dressed really, really nicely with the very, very muted tones. So the turtleneck and the jacket almost blend in the trousers sit really nice the location's really good and it's just a very good picture that is definitely one of the nicest fits i've ever seen being submitted so that had to take the number one spot you guys might disagree but this is my channel i'm basically the dictator so i say what's good what's bad pretty much that was a joke but it's kind of true talk shit get blocked And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my collection of 10 fits out of all the ones I was sent. Now, as always, take this with a pinch of salt. Do bear in mind, this is my opinion, and I'm the one who selects these fits. You don't have to take anything I take, everything I say, blah, 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 blah. let's try again. You don't have to take anything I say seriously or take my word for anything. This is just how I see it. A lot of these fits are really nice, and I have got probably 30, 40 more, which were really, really good. But this is like my selection of the 10, which I prefer the most. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, I will be doing this every month. So if you do want to participate in the top five fits November, all you got to do is send an email to top10fits at gmail.com. You have to include your Instagram handle, the brand you're wearing, and obviously a picture. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I guess the last thing I can say is that every Wednesday, 7 p.m. UK time, I'm streaming. So I stream at twitch.tv 
slash Magnus running. It's just good. It's good for me to like sit down and just talk shit for like two, three hours. So if you do want to join, go in, have a look and I'll see you Wednesday. It's been your boy, Magnus P30 running and I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace. Peace, motherfucker.